What is up guys, welcome to my channel and today I am back with another GTA 5 online video and I hope you guys are all having a good day and in this video I will be showing you a new money glitch that is working right now. You guys can go ahead and make a lot of money with this glitch so if you do go on to enjoy this then please drop a like down below and also subscribe for more GTA 5 videos like this and there are lots of other GTA 5 glitch videos including other money glitch videos over on my channel. So make sure to turn on my post notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future GTA 5 videos. But anyway guys, let's just get straight into this glitch. So this is a brand new working money glitch. This does work right now and it's not really that long of a glitch either. It's actually pretty quick. It should only take you a few minutes to do this glitch. I did do it a few times before actually making this video and I timed myself and it did only take a few minutes to fully complete this glitch. But this is another car duplication glitch, but this is a new way to duplicate cars. Now basically this glitch is pretty easy to do on PS4, but I would say this glitch is probably a bit harder to do on Xbox One. If you want to try it out on Xbox One, definitely go ahead. Now, you will need a friend to help you with this glitch, so if you don't have any friends online right now, there will be some solo money glitches linked in the description, so definitely go and check them out. But also for this glitch, you'll need to have an arena, and make sure you've got at least one of the basement levels, and make sure you've got the car you want to duplicate in your arena as well. Now, you'll also need to make sure you have a motorcycle club, and you'll need to have an MOC with the personal vehicle storage, and have a Fagio stored inside it. Now what you want to do is go to your motorcycle club and just request the Fagio out like I did. Now you need to make sure it is the right Fagio you requested out, so once you've requested the Fagio using your motorcycle club, just go into your MOC and there should be no vehicle in there, and of course the Fagio will be outside. So you can go over to your Fagio, return it to storage, and then from there, every time you go back to your motorcycle club, it should already be hovering over the Fagio like this to request it again. So just make sure you've got that and then once you've got that you'll want your friend to go ahead and start up a solo session. So just have them be in story mode, have them go to play GTA Online and start up a solo session. Now once they're in the solo session just have them start up any job and then once they've started up the job you just want them to wait there. Now once your friend is in the job, you'll want to go to your arena and you want to be in the workshop level and what you want to do is go over to the elevator over here. Now once you do get over here, you'll need to go to your home screen and go to your friend's profile or go to your chat party and join your friend. Now once you do join your friend, as soon as you see getting online session details in the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll then want to select your basement level. Now once you've selected it, as soon as you see the alert, just go ahead and accept it. You should get a second one, and now on the second one, what you'll need to do is accept the second alert, and then very quickly join your friend again. Now that is harder to do on Xbox One, I believe. If you're on PS4, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just accept this alert, quickly double tap your PS button, and it'll take you straight back to the chat party, and then you can join them again. But on Xbox One, I don't think you can do stuff like that, so I think you would just have to go back and join them as fast as possible. But basically, once you do get back and you have the alert to join them, just accept both alerts again, and then from there, you should see your character falling through the map. If not, you should just be on a black screen. But either way, you should spawn in the arena basement level with no minimap. So as you can see, I've got no minimap. That's what you should have at this stage. So what you want to do is just drive any car out of this garage. Then just invite your friend to this session. And once they get in here, make sure they are not registered as a CEO or a motorcycle club and have them get in the car with you. Then you just want to drive into your arena and just wait on this screen. When you're on that screen, you'll want your friend to open up their interaction menu and then select kill yourself and then just have them quickly go to the store and just wait there. Now once your friend is on the store right here, 
what you want to do is just go ahead and select the same garage you just took this car out of. When you do that, you should go on to this glitched screen right here. And what you want to do is just open the pause menu, go to online and then go to options and then select kill yourself. Then once you've done that, you will respawn and what you want to do from there is open up your interaction menu, go to the motorcycle club and then because we had it set up earlier, it should already be hovering over the Fagio. So just go ahead and request the Fagio. When you do that, the Fagio should not actually show up. It should still show your car on the map. So if you've got that, if you've got no Fagio on the map, you will now want to go into your arena and drive out the car you want to duplicate. So as always, make sure you're using a fully maxed out upgradable arena vehicle. Yessi is the best one to use. You can also use a fully maxed out Benny's vehicle as well and you don't need to have custom plates for this. But once you've taken the car outside, you will then want to just sit in this spot right here and just request your MOC. Then once your MOC is out on the map, you'll just want to then drive around to your MOC and then you just want to press right on the D-pad to store this car inside the MOC. It should then give you the message that says the personal vehicle storage is full. So now you just want to wait on this message right here and your friend should still be on the store as you can see in the top right corner of the screen right here. So now you just want your friend to back out of the store and once they are out of the store, a few seconds later, it should just automatically take you into the MOC. You don't need to press anything right there, it should just take you straight in. Once you do get in here, that is it, you've successfully duplicated the car. So this one right here is the duplicated copy and the original copy has gone back to storage. So it's gone back to wherever you got it from. So I'm just going to drive around there and I'll leave the duplicated copy outside and show you that the original copy is now back where I got it from. So that's how you do this glitch guys. It's not really a hard glitch to do, especially on PS4. Like I said, this is harder to do on Xbox One. But if you want to try it out on Xbox One, then definitely go ahead. But if you're having problems with this glitch and you can't get it to work, then I will have some other money glitches linked in the description. So if you're struggling to do this one or if you're having problems with it, then go and check out the other money glitches I've got linked in the description. But anyway guys, that pretty much does it for this video. I really hope you guys could follow this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please drop a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.